Being part of this amazing company called Enagic, I'm so grateful I get to travel the world with my K8 and have an international company. All right, let's see how I travel with my K8 and how simple and easy it can be once you get the hang of it. I take it completely apart, everything, hoses, so it all fits in my bag and it does not leak. You can see all the pieces here that I take apart. I do it about an hour before so that the filter and the water and the hoses don't leak in my bag. As you can see, everything from the top hoses, the back hoses, and the bottom hoses are apart. I pour the electrolysis back into my electrolysis container or another container that you maybe feel more comfortable with flying. This ensures that it will not leak and if they want to test it at the airport, they can easily and successfully. The hoses are easy to screw on and off. They don't take a lot of effort and be careful, there is a little piece for one of the hoses that you need to keep an eye on. The filter probably holds the most water next to the machine, so make sure that you shake it a bunch before you actually pack it. I like to pack the machine an hour or two before I have to leave, that way everything doesn't isn't leaking and all over my bag. So there's all the pieces for the machine. Now let's see all the extra pieces that you wanna bring for your travels. I bring a wrench because you just never know what faucet you're going to be with. The airport does stop you, but it's not a big deal. They let you go through with it. Definitely make sure to bring every single piece you have for the faucets. Metal, plastic, all the adapters possible. My filter ring is with this as well. I brought the longer hose for the acid water just in case because I wasn't sure where the K8 would be set up. Again, a wrench because the faucet could be stuck and you just never know. pH strips to just have fun container for beauty water and a container for 2.5 so that I am able to use these waters on my trip and to show my friends and family how amazing my machine is as well. These pieces are just as important as the other ones. Here's the certificate you can bring out to bring to the airport but they don't usually ask for it. It's handy to have that I always have in my backpack just in case. Make sure all the small pieces go in a zipped up bag and nothing falls out. It, you don't want to lose anything on your travels for this expensive medical grade device. Next, I put all the hoses together and all the other pieces in another bag. That way it's all organized and easy to set up when I get to my destination. I put the filter and the electrolysis in a plastic bag, double plastic bag it because I don't want it to leak. They also, the airport sometimes test these, so make sure it's easy access to get to while you're traveling. All the other things go in this bag and I'm ready to go and travel to the airport with my K8. I use this amazing bag by 10 Tree, and I love it because my K8 literally fits perfectly in the back, no if, ands, or buts. It's a comfortable backpack that's easy on my shoulders, and it is a personal item so it fits under my seat while I'm traveling. That way I know my K8 is safe and not going to get jumbled around up above. I did have to take my laptop out for this demonstration. Luckily my mom was traveling with me and could hold on to my laptop. Next time I might need to take some things out of the front pocket so my laptop can fit. I did end up putting the electrolysis and the filter in my backpack, although not in the demonstration, because I wanted everything to be with my K8 and not lost. The glass bottles were on my checked bag for the airport. Headed to the Jersey Shore. I can't wait to share with my friends and family. About to go through security. The machine. When you get to security, you're going to have to take the machine out of the bag and let it go through the belt. I advise you not to let the water in your water bottles go through the belt. Although this is medical grade, they will have to test it and give you a pat down if you don't let it go through the belt. This is how they test the water. It's easy and simple, but please have enough time for this process because it is a process. We were almost late, as you can tell by these photos. Because I was so organized and had all those extra pieces, I was able to set up my K8 effortlessly when I got to the Jersey Shore. My friends and family were able to enjoy this amazing water and the seven different types that it creates because of those glass bottles I brought. I am so thankful to have this K8 on my travels. All right, back to Colorado, same process. Take the whole machine apart, put it in my 10 tree bag, and I'm off to the airport with ease and grace and with plenty of time this time So because the process is a little bit long. If you have any questions or concerns or want to learn more about how to travel with your K8, let me know.